Good day, class. Today is the reporting of Group 8 and their topic is all about Nuestra Señora de la Salud. Good day, everyone. Today, we will report about Our Lady of Good Health, also known as Nuestra Señora de la Salud. The Miraculous Image The image of Nuestra Señora de la Salud is a Madonna and a child, with a virgin's head made of wood, the hands, and the child Jesus made of Tarkan ivory. The nearly 400-year-old image of La Salud wears a corona, irostero de oro, and a tunic of beaten silver and gold encrusted with precious stones. The image of the Virgin stands with a measurement of 63.5 cm with the inclusion of the base and crown while the child Jesus stands at 13 cm. The history about Our Lady of Good Health, also known as Nostra Senora de la Salud. The 384-year-old image, made of ivory adorned with costly and colorful stones, was a precious gift from the discalced, means barefoot Carmelite nuns of Mexico to the recollect missionaries on their way to their missions in the Philippines in year 1634. Upon arriving in the Philippines, the image was enshrined in the church of San Juan de Bagumbayan in Intramuros in 1634. But in year 1762, an unfortunate incident occurred when the church and convent were destroyed, and the image was transferred to the church of San Nicolas in Intramuros, Manila, that drew more devotees. Then, in year 1945, during the Great Battle in Manila, American planes bombed the Japanese, destroying the, destroying the city. The image of the salad miraculously survived the bombing of the San Nicolas Church, and the Recolitos Fathers took the image and brought it to the sacristy of San Sebastian Basilica, also in Manila, for safekeeping for several years. When the Vicar Provincial transferred its residence in Quezon City in 1970, he took the image with him. Then, in 1988, the image was handed over the Museo Recoleto for safekeeping. For 72 years, the image was kept from the public eye, and many thought that the miraculous image was lost or destroyed, and the devotion by the faithful faded into oblivion and never bothered to celebrate her feast day. However, in December of 2016, the OAR fathers decided to reintroduce her call to the Filipino people, giving those afflicted with different illnesses and source of strength, comfort, and hope by invoking Mary's intercession through this Marian devotion. The miraculous image of Nuestra Señora de la Salud has found its permanent home at San Nicolas Parish in Bago Bantay, Quezon City. Miracles With that particular miracles attributed to the petite image of the Virgin of Health, devotees grows over the centuries. Pregnant women seek her powerful intercession for safe delivery of their offspring and the sick were immediately cured through her intercession. Records of the long sea voyage bringing the miraculous image from Mexico to Philippines resulted in numerous illness to those on board the vessel. With no doctors on board, the Recoletus fathers prayed to God for the intercession of the Blessed Mother. Their prayer were answered as miraculous healing accord. After praying in the front of the image during the long and difficult trip from Mexico, it was that historic event that the holy image was given the title La Salud by the faithful Rubia said. The first manifestation of the miraculous image was the healing of a 68-year-old former bank employee, Greg Montes, who was diagnosed with multiple organ failure and was given a 50-50 chance of survival. Montes' wives and children started praying the novena on November 20, two years ago and 10 days later. He was in Cubao taking his lunch with his family. Anes was happy when told about the healing of Montes. 
He said he knew there were many healed during the past 12 months. After praying the powerful novena prayer of Nuestra Señora de Salud. One of the most prolific devoted the Virgin was the great Saint Isabel Moreno, whom he evoked as Nuestra Señora Salud de los Enfermos and sought her patronage. The Fist The Fist to the Virgin de la Salud was transferred to several dates over the centuries. Her feast was first celebrated every third Friday of Lent, then transferred to a fixed date of April 28, then again in February 2 and November 17, then lastly the Saturday nearest to the solemnity of St. Joseph. The reasons of the ever-changing feast day are still unknown, yet the people attended her fiesta to give thanks to her unconditional help to her devotees. Not satisfied with the ever-increasing devotion to the Virgin of Health, a confraternity was started in her honor was known as Confradia de la Transito de Nuestra Señora. That's the end of our report. Thanks for listening. You did a very nice presentation about Nuestra Señora de la Salud. I guess that's the end of our meeting today. Thank you everyone and God bless.